When you sew, most of your sewing is done with a straight stitch. But there are some options you have for working with your straight stitch, and one of them is your stitch length, and one of them is your needle position. So let's explain those a little bit. Our machine right now is set for straight stitch, and I'm gonna place my fabric under the presser foot and put my stitch length dial at a three. And let's see what that looks like. There's our straight stitch at setting three. But we can make our stitches longer by putting it on, a, say, a number four. And let's see what that looks like. So you can see the distance between the stitches is much longer. Or we can sew them shorter and tur by turning it down to a shorter number. Let's try it at, say, a number two. And so you can see how very different that same stitch looks just depending on where you set your stitch length. But another thing you might want to do is to adjust your needle position. So right now you can see I have my needle position set at center and of course my width dial is at zero because we're sewing straight stitch. But I can move my needle to left position by moving my needle position dial to left and I see the needle has moved to the left all the way over. If I move this dial to the right, I can see that my needle has moved all the way over to the far right position. The other thing I can do is use my width control dial, and as I move my dial, I can set my needle position anywhere I want between left and right. So you have a couple of choices there. You might use that for top stitching or zipper insertion, but there you have needle position and stitch length for, as options for when you sew your straight stitch. In addition to the straight stitch, Another really popular stitch is a zigzag. So we're gonna turn the stitch dial to zigzag. And to sew a zigzag, you need to give it some width. So we're gonna come up here to the stitch width dial and I'm gonna set it at the maximum width of six. And I'm gonna leave the length right now at three. And let's just have a look at what that looks like. So here's our zigzag, the maximum stitch width available on the machine and a stitch length of three. But we can spread those zigzag stitches out even further by turning the stitch length dial up to four. And here you can see where the length is longer, so they're a little further apart. You can bring your width narrower if you wish. Let's set it at maybe in the middle, right around three. And we'll leave that stitch length at four and see how that changes the look of our zigzag. And here you can see the distance between the stitches is the same as here, but it's narrower. It's about half the width. Now let's leave our width set narrow like this, but bring the stitch length shorter, maybe between a one and a two. Make sure your threads are both underneath the presser foot before you start sewing. Lower the presser foot lifter and start sewing. And here you can see they're much denser because we brought the stitch length very short. You could bring it even shorter if you wish for things like applique. So play with the stitch length and width and set it the way you need it for your project. This is your stitch selector dial and each time you turn it, you can feel it sort of click into place. And you can turn it to the left or the right, but you'll notice that each time I turn it and it clicks in place, there are actually three different stitches at each setting. So how do you know which one you're gonna sew? If you look at these closely, you'll see that one is in a gray color, one is in a blue color, and one is in a red color. So to choose the one you wanna sew, you actually use your stitch length dial. And it's color coded, so gray goes with gray. So if I'm sewing one of the, if I want the gray stitch, I'm somewhere in my gray zone here. If I want the blue stitch, I turn the dial, to the blue, so blue matches blue. And if I want the red stitch, I put it so red matches red, and I turn it to the red S. I'm gonna start with the gray colored stitch, which is a multi-step zigzag. With my stitch length, I'll just leave it right here between the two and the three. These stitches look their best when the width is set at its widest, so I'm gonna turn it up to the width number six. Place your fabric under the presser foot, lower the presser foot lifter, and step on the foot control to begin sewing. And there's our multi-step zigzag. 
You can of course adjust the width and length as you wish. Now, let's turn the stitch length dial. We want to sew the blue stitch, so it's the same setting on the stitch selector dial, but the blue stitch is the honeycomb, so we're going to turn the stitch length dial so that we're on blue, so blue matches blue. And there's our beautiful honeycomb stitch. That's a great one for decorative sewing, but you can also use it for elastic insertion. Now, let's take a look at the red stitch, and that is our feather stitch. So it's red, I'm gonna turn the stitch length dial to red. Make sure both threads are underneath the presser foot before you start sewing, and let's have a look at what that one looks like. And there's our feather stitch. That's also good for decorative sewing, elastic insertion as well. So with all your stitches, experiment with your stitch length and your stitch width, different weights of thread, different colors and types of thread, and select the setting that's gonna be just perfect for the project you're working on. If you'd like more information about your machine, just check out the Singer Manual, which is available to view or download anytime on the Singer website.